Namaste. We are Nippon and Lenny. Since seven years, we travel the material and spiritual world together. And since three and a half years, we have a new ruling force in our lives, Metsya Veda. We are on the path towards self-realization, but for now, the only one accomplished in peace is our son Yogi. Come along and dive really deep into the material and spiritual dimensions of life. Welcome to Goa. We are currently in the smallest state of India and today we want to show you a little around our hangout spots and a few places we really enjoy being right now because Goa is a very special place and you find everything here so you really have to pick and choose where you want to go. Let's go! Today we are going to this special restaurant which is uh, famous for its breakfast or brunch. Uh, it's called Baba Aurahum. It's a French restaurant. Maybe my pronunciation is not right. According to Lenny, it is not right. So um, uh, it's a very nice restaurant, and the best thing about it is the food that they make, and also the owner. He is uh, the owner as well as the DJ. He's a very good DJ. So what he's doing is that on the side he has a special place for himself and his friends so whole day while the restaurant is open they are playing some good music on the side like live music that's that's very special i've never seen it before anywhere so yeah we are going to baba to have some food and to listen to some good music yes madam to pani wala ya malai wala How is it? Very sweet. Yeah, it looks right when the color is like that brownish. Whenever I eat the malai, I have to think of our yogi because he just loves this malai. So sometimes we ask the coconut guys to give us a lot of malai in a bag, and then we brought it home for yogi, and he just he can swim in it. <laughs> Goa is really a special place, quite magical actually. I came here the first time more than seven years ago now and Nippon spent half his life in Goa. It actually changed quite a bit over the years. So the last three years we didn't come to Goa because of the pandemic. In this video we want to tell you a little about what all changed now with the pandemic as well. The major change which caught our eye was the different crowding going on. In the beginning it was mainly Europeans here, then the Russians took over and now it's almost only Indians. And the Indians are from the upper middle class with a lot of money to spend. So that drove the prices way up. Wherever you go you pay almost double now than compared to three or four years ago. A 
Another problem which came with the Indian mass tourism is the traffic. Because they only come for a few days, they travel around a lot and the traffic is massive now. On top of the broken roads, it's a real challenge now to come from one to the other place. But even with all these things in mind, Goa is still a beautiful place. Like here, just having a bonfire with some friends at the beach. Make a real science out of this. <laughs> and yes, our friends are big fans of prawns, but we are pure vegetarians. We enjoyed the grilled pineapple after that. Get up! Yeah, try if Ignacio will move. We came to the post office to send a postcard to my grandmother. And I still really like doing this because you don't send many letters or postcards. And also in your own post, you mainly have bills and invoices and more like stressful and negative things so i really like sending postcards and letters to people so they get something positive in their post as well and today we are sending this ni po nice postcard to my grandma with the rajistani elephant on it so if you know someone who would be happy to receive some post from you go for it and send them something today yeah we want to send this postcard to austria this is for international International letter, na no? Only for India, no? We can do it, no? In our payment office. Okay. Yeah, but we will go to pay them. We live in. No, we, we, I do it. You give them the money. That enough. And hey, eka, eka no photo mark. Eka no mage da. So uh, these are pros and cons. So this was a big con. They didn't have the stamp, the right stamp, international stamp, and. Uh, uh, instead of sending us back, they said you give us the money and they will go to the other post office, arrange a stamp, put it on the card and send it. And once it's sent, he took my number, he will send a message on WhatsApp. So this can be done only in these remote villages in India. But this is, this is really something nice. So he will get out of his comfort zone, he will drive there approximately 4 kilometers, going 4 kilometers, coming back and do the job for us. So, incredible Mother India. Did you give some tip also? Ah, uh, no. No, uh, to these people who are working in the offices, you don't give tip because then they can get offended. So they, when they do such gestures, they do it from heart. So this is the, this is the beauty of it. His uncle is great. He already found two nice plots for us, only three to four kilometers from the beach. One close to Morjim, one close to Arambol. And what did you get? Ah, I got some healthy stuff. Cashews, some organic uh, walnuts and some nice raisins. We are going to flea market. It's in uh, Anjuna Beach and it started around in 70s if I'm right. I can double check it for you guys and for myself. Uh, when all the hippies came into Goa, they had no way 
uh, to earn money, they started selling their own stuff, old stuff in this market and they started calling it the flea market. And since then it's on. It's been how many years now? 30, 40, 50 years. But when Corona hit the world last three years, there were no foreigners in Goa and none of the foreigners had a stall either to sell stuff. Now only 95% Indians are left in the market who are selling their stuff. Mum was in Sweden and we bought her at least three bags from what I remember and now she's looking at bags again. A lady can never have too many bags. Yeah. This is a proper handmade organic sticks. You can try, try one sticks, lasting one and a half hour, more than one and a half hour. I just love Goa for its food. I am a true foodie and there are so many awesome restaurants like this one, La Plage. It's a French restaurant with really amazing food. Mama, ask me. What do you want to eat? Um, it's from Baba. Okay. How is it? Mm, not a fan. Not a fan. Mama, it's a lot of fun. It's not bad either, though. Mama, it's a lot of fun. What do you like? What do you say? I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. It's actually good now. I think it's good. It's like you're not a fan, but you cannot stop eating it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> If you're an art lover or an artist, Goa is really a must visit. You will get inspired in each and every corner. And then you're going to the dark corners and wash your feet. Mama, I wash my feet. You wash your feet in the light. Lenny's wish in the morning was that I should cook the food uh, because she wants to and I don't mind doing it and also because uh, she's working since morning cutting the videos doing this doing that so it's my turn today to cook the food and I don't do it very often because I'm not a very good cook yet it's Lenny who makes the food more often And when it gets too hot in the kitchen, you can just take a dip in the ocean and then come back and finish the food for your lovely wife. So I've almost chopped all the veggies and today is something special that I'm doing. I'm going to use my mum's recipe more or less. Uh, it's not exactly mum's recipe because there are not uh, original tomatoes so instead of that I'm going to use uh, tomato puree and today I'm using 
the pressure cooker. So let's see how it turns out. Looking nice. Looking nice. Not towel is wearing. This is what I call a victory in the kitchen. Yeah, mama. Mama. Ah, I think I'm going to use this one. Satisfied? Could be better. And now let's go and have a look. In Arambol, how is it now? Arambol was always the center for the hippies after Anjuna. Now there are also many many Indians, but still there is this special vibe. The best time to come here is at sunset, when all the artists are on the beach showing what they can do. There's even a little market. You can just scroll around and enjoy the show, the sand and the setting sun. There's one more place we want to show you. It's Arjuna in Anjuna. We actually discovered it years ago. At that time, it was a real gem, a hidden gem, really something special. It's still quite nice, but now the mass tourism found this place as well, so it's always quite loaded. And yeah, the the vibe is not the same anymore because before it was really just like really chilled out people, and now everyone is here. So it's still a nice place. But let's have a look. This restaurant Arjuna is run by a Israeli family. They started this restaurant, this small cafe in Anjuna, more than 10 years ago. And that time it was just a small cafe. And now they have four different full-fledged restaurants in Goa. Like Lenny mentioned before, this place was a gem at once, once upon a time, and now there is music, they have expanded the place, and uh, they have made their own bar, right where people eat, so it's, I wouldn't say it's more of a family place anymore, where you can bring your kids, before when we brought the kids, there was a playground, where there was a house on the tree so kids were all around you know the restaurant and it was peace and quiet but it's not like that anymore now it is very loud and uh, the whole vibe has changed there is alcohol everywhere and yeah the crowd has also changed with it 
But one thing is the same, the food is still awesome. also a very nice part about this restaurant that they have this shop enclosed but even this changed before they had different collections from this different designers and now they have only their own collection and most of the dresses is polyester and I never buy polyester because first of all you sweat a lot in it it's not nice on the skin and when you wash it in the washing machine the microplastic goes into the water so now it's just well it's nice to look through but yeah <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing Goa through our eyes. Like the video and subscribe our channel. And remember, light is now. Postcard is sent. <laughs>